Hello everybody and welcome to Storytime with Auntie Vina. How are you? Today we're at the Owl Bookshop in Kentish Town in London where I live and we are going to be reading Ruby's Worry by Tom Percival. Do you ever sometimes get worried, get that funny horrible little feeling in your belly? Well let's find out what Ruby's worry is and what we can do to help her. So are you comfortable? Have you got a drink? Do you have a snack? Then let's go. Ruby's worry. Oh, look at Ruby, isn't she cute? And look at her puff puffs. I love these little Afro puffs. I used to have them when I was younger. Now we have a letter for you, dear reader or listener. This is a book about a girl who can't get rid of a worry Everyone worries about things from time to time, and it can be hard to stop. Even though we can't see our worries like Ruby can, they're here with us. Ignoring them can sometimes make them worse. So here are a few questions to ask yourself when you think you have a worry stuck to you. What am I feeling? Sad, angry, anxious, all three? What could be causing me to feel this way? Who can I talk about it to? No matter what you're feeling, remember that it always helps to talk about it. Be open, be honest, and be you. Love, Tom. That's a letter from Tom, the one who wrote the story. Thank you, Tom. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high. Look at Ruby on her swing. And she loved to explore wild, faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day Do you like exploring the garden? All the lovely colours and plants and bugs. She discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. Oh, look at its little frow all scrunched up. Ruby looks quite curious. In fact, it was so small that at first Ruby hardly noticed it, but then the worry started to grow. Can you see Ruby's getting a little bit annoyed that the worry is still around? Each day it got a little bit bigger. Oh, now it's nearly as big as Ruby. Hmm. It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast, daring at her over her cereal box, and it was still there at night when she cleaned her teeth. And he's so close to worry. Oh. Is it starting to take over a little bit, this worry? Always there? The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. Can you see Ruby's worry? It's getting bigger and bigger, isn't it? It must feel very strange being the only person who has to see and deal with it. She cried, she tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there stopping her from doing the things that she loved. Oh, it's even squeezing her out of her happy swing and her happy place in the garden. Oh, we don't like this worry very much, do we? Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realize that she was doing the worst thing you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. 
it was always on her mind, wasn't it? And getting in her way. And now it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Do you ever worry about being worried? Now the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at tea time. It filled up half of the school bus. And you see, Ruby is worrying so much about the worry that she's not talking to her parents and she's not playing with her friends. She's just thinking about the worry. And it took up whole rows at the cinema. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about. And it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Oh, what a horrible feeling. And look at the worry. It's not even bothered. It's watching the film while Ruby is thinking about the worry. She doesn't get to enjoy the film. Then one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt sad and then she noticed something else something hovering next to him could it be a worry can you see the little boy's worry is it a worry he looks as sad as ruby doesn't he it was ruby realized that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all other people had them too. They come in all different sizes and shapes, but everybody has a worry. Oh, no. She asked the boy what was on his mind. And as he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. It's getting smaller and smaller. Look at the size of Ruby's worry. Then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Isn't that great? You don't have to just be with your worry. You can tell people and then the worry might just disappear. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Yay! Happiness and rainbows and stars and friends. That's how we want to feel, isn't it? Not all sad. Of course, that wasn't the last time that she ever had a worry everyone gets them from time to time but now that she knew how to get rid of them ruby's noticed her worry but do you see her face she doesn't look so anxious or worried anymore does she so now that she knew how to get rid of them they never hung around for long ping a little worry is going to just disappear. Oh, that's fantastic. Ruby's worry. Do you get worried sometimes? I'm sure you do. We all do. Even big people, even the adults get very worried sometimes. And this is such good advice. We all need to talk about it when we're feeling worried. Otherwise, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then it stops only thing that you think about and then it makes you feel very unhappy inside so let's do what ruby does and let's talk about our worries and let's listen to other people so they can also feel better thank you ruby and thank you tom for your great story did you enjoy it i hope you did and if you want to get your own copy you can visit a bookshop like the owl bookshop or you can check in the description box and see a link to get your own copy. You can also connect with me at Storytime with Antivina, and I really look forward to seeing you next time. So remember, talk about your worries so they get really, really small and disappear, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye, take care.